Dr. Sleep, what are you doing later? Hey. Hey. What up? Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, I was just fucking around with the guitar. Nah, nah. Yeah, I can bring it over later. Alright. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no problem. I love you too. Alright, bye. Love you. Uh, that's your boyfriend? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even. My girl. What? Your girl? Yeah. So Wait, when we chill. Are you DL? What the fuck? Why you got me out here like Wait, this? Why are you tripping? You gonna ask me to hang out again? What the fuck is wrong? I don't with know you? why you're upset. Y'all usually be into this. Y'all, nigga, you one of us. Bro, calm down. It's not even that deep. How can you live like this? Double life and shit. No remorse. No guilt. I mean, do your girl know that you fucking nigga? This is my business. It's my life, and it works for me. Alright? It's my vice. <laughs> I gotta go. Man, don't even act like you don't got some shit. We all got our shit. So you really don't want to chill again? Saeed, nigga, get your shit together. He made back music. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, Dr. Quarante, and I'm back in this thing like booty crack. The clip that you guys just saw, um, it kind of sums up my experience with dating boy with Dio, guys, but... Um, for those of you who hasn't seen that show yet, it's called For the Boys on YouTube. Just look it up. I think they have two seasons, I think. But really great show. For those of you that that's interested in watching that, I'm going to leave the link and everything below. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show you some support. I'm on the road to 1K. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that button for me. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. So this actually is something different for me. Like I normally don't do content like this, but I kind of wanted to kind of adventure off to other stuff besides story time and i just felt like this would be like a great start for me um so as you guys can see by the title i'm going to tell you why i just don't date deal guys why i don't tolerate them why i no longer bother them because i'm not going to sit here and say i never like mess with a deal guy because of course most of my story times kind of consist of me dealing with them but i'm just kind of speaking from a standpoint of me already you know been there done that and now i'm just kind of expressing as to why i just don't entertain them anymore um so yeah i actually wrote everything down on my notes because i'm the kind of person i forget shit so so for those of you who don't know what a deal guy is um i'm gonna read you guys two i'm gonna read you guys two um definitions i um found on urban dictionary according to them um, definition is deal means d down low this is basically a man who's seen publicly as straight identifies and acts straight but secretly is attracted to or has sex with other men um, I thought that was really good. And then the other one is a straight man that usually has a girlfriend or a wife, but he also has a boyfriend on a down low. But most DLs aren't gay, just bisexual, but afraid to come out because of family and friends. And that kind of really sums it all up. Like I kind of, I personally feel like it's some DL guys that's like fully gay, and you have some that's like bisexual. Except yeah, I'm gonna just kind of go down the list and give you guys reasons as to why I just don't. I just can't do it no more. I can't. I'm fed up. I can't do it no more. So the first thing I had was everything is pretty much secretive. And it's it's self-explanatory. Like the whole title is self-explanatory. Everything is pretty much a secret. You can't introduce them to your family. Like it's just a whole lot of uh things you gotta keep on a low with that person. Like I feel like gays fail to realize once you're in a, a situation with that person, you kinda gotta meet them to where they are. You know, as opposed to you just being your damn self and dating somebody that's on the same level as you. I just think that's a heartache and it's a headache uh, waiting to happen. It's dying to happen. Um, So that's one thing. Secondly, it feels like you're in a closet again. Like, um, I like me personally, when I was dealing with guys that were DL who was actually like <clears throat> on to something, whether it was a situationship or I was just dating them on, on, a, serious, on a serious note, um, I just felt like I was in a closet, like, I don't know, like, whenever I was in public with them, like, I had to change the way I talk, the way I walk, uh, it was a whole lot of weird shit, like, I just couldn't fully be myself being with the person, and that could be very stressful, 
Cause it's just like, it just don't feel comfortable not being yourself around anybody actually. But yeah, it, I just kind of feel like I was in a closet again, honestly. Another thing that I put down, I said most of the time I feel I can't fully be myself. And that kind of resonates with what I just said, but I'm gonna give y'all a mini story time. So <clears throat> I had met this guy, right? And we was, we hit it off really well. He told me before, like, you know, he was DL, but eventually he would come out. And me being me, I'm like, okay, I'll stick around because, you know, I wasn't really thinking about the whole, I can't, I, 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 I totally forgot about the time it takes to come out because it's like, it's not that simple. But I felt like he said that just for me to stick around. So after he was telling me, you know, he was going to eventually come out, we wrote it out. We, you know, we hit it off. And I would catch myself like he would tell me certain things that like he didn't like on me. Like, like I used to wear these anklets and he did not like it at all. Like he just was like, you, I don't want you wearing it around me. Like, I guess he felt like that was feminine for him. I don't know. But I've been wearing anklets, you know, before you even came here. So I'm telling him like, well, I'm not going to change that for you. Like, what's going on? I just thought that was weird. And then like. I, I, you know, I'm about to show y'all some clips. So, like, I love to twerk. I love showing my ass. I love shaking it. And I just felt like every time when I was around this dude, I just couldn't do that. Like, it was just weird. I just had to kind of, like, limit my personality to make him feel comfortable. And that can be miserable when you're not being yourself and just holding off, like, you. Like, just holding off you. That's weird. Um, they are very sneaky. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say all D.O. guys are sneaky, but honestly speaking, like, I just personally feel like if a dude can hide their sexuality, ain't no telling. They can, like, just imagine how they can hide from them seeing other guys. Like, that could be really scary, in a sense, but, I mean, hey, it is what it is. And lastly, they will waste your time. Like, they'll just waste it. They'll waste your time. Um... It, I was talking to a dude for almost two years one time. That's a story time for another day. But it's crazy because we never was really like serious. We just was like on and off. But for the most for the most part, he wasted my time the entire time. And it's just like it's just it was just weird. I guess you can say. Um, so yeah, that's that on that. I know this video was super short, but I just kind of wanted to express. Uh, the reason why I just don't tolerate DL man. And I feel like for the younger kids that's, that's watching this video too, I mainly made it for y'all because it's like, I'm talking to my gays that's probably like 17, 16, probably 18. I don't think it's worth, my personal opinion, I feel like it's not worth even dealing with them because it's just everything that I just said, you gotta go, you're gonna go through all of that stuff. Like whether you like it or not, that's just that on that. How can I say it? Because I don't wanna come off as being a hypocrite. Now, I'm at a stage in my life where I just don't tolerate them whatsoever uh, on the sexual level, whether we're just like, you know, I don't, whether we're either fucking or we're like serious, I don't do nothing either anymore because I just rather save the time. I understand like the fantasy behind Dio guys, but I just personally don't want to do it. And while we talking about fantasies and shit, um, a lot of... I feel like the reason why DL men are like highly talked about in the gay community is because like we have to be honest with ourselves. Like growing up, we all we saw was heterosexual like you know relationships, whether it was in cartoons or just regular TV. And then like even being in school, like you know we all had that boy we had, we had a crush on. Don't sit here and lie and say you haven't because I know I did. I had plenty of them, but it's like they weren't gay. So it's like when it was time for me to date and everything like that my type automatically was like over masculine like he had to be masculine he had to be this way he had to be that way but it wasn't our gay reality if that makes any sense like it just wasn't reality in the gay world so i feel like that's just never going to change as far as like dl guys being praised it's never going to change honestly as much videos everybody can put about kind of being against it it's it's not going to change at all so i feel like to any gay person that's young and that's just trying to figure it out if you're out and you're open and you're proud of, and you're proud to be gay and everything like that i wouldn't recommend you dating 
um, Dio guys. Because even if you were to even to put yourself in a situation where you guys were just enjoying each other's company, but it was nothing serious, it all depends on the time. Because let's just say you you got in your brain that you're not gonna fall for this person, but you know he takes you out on dates, or hell, y'all even spend time together on a low whatever and you kind of start putting feelings because y'all hitting it off really well the chemistry is there and everything but the guy kind of already let you know what was going on so i just feel like you can get your i, I feel like it's kind of um how can i say it i feel like it can go both ways as far as like you catching your feelings whether you guys are just having fun or it could be serious i just think it's a waste of time and you should save yourself the heartache and headache to just only date guys that's you know, on your level. I feel like I'm missing out on stuff, but everything that I said, it kind of covered my notes. Um, definition of being gay and my reasons as to why I just don't date them. I know this video was short, but that about wraps up this video. I just kind of want to, you know, express as to why I don't like, why I don't date them. But yeah, make sure you guys leave a big thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe on the world to 1K. And yeah, it's anything like booty crack. It ain't a question Oh, it ain't no one for guessing No